Hi, I'm uh, Joe Moore. I'm alderman of the 49th Ward in, in Chicago. And I was the sponsor of the resolution that the Chicago City Council passed in the days leading up to uh, George Bush's invasion of, of Iraq, opposing a preemptive attack on the nation of, uh, of, of Iraq. Um, uh, I did that at the prompting of uh, a number of anti-war activists who uh, knew me and we were friends and they asked me to um, sponsor this resolution and I was absolutely, um, absolutely committed to doing so. Um, uh, now there were some criticism of me for doing it because they thought, well, as a member of the Chicago City Council, you should spend all your time worrying about filling potholes and making sure the garbage pick is picked up and the streetlights are turned on. But I had a much broader view. I think I thought that um, that this was of critical importance, not only to federal officials but to us local officials as well, um, because it was going to be our sons and daughters that were going to be called upon to fight this war. Uh, it threatened to divert billions of dollars from much needed, uh, much needed projects and programs uh, and infrastructure improvements here in my district and throughout the city of Chicago and cities across the nation. So I felt it was not only appropriate, but our duty to speak out on this important national issue. And so I was able to convince my mayor and uh, 49 out of my, uh, 48 out of my 49 colleagues to uh, sponsor the resolution and to get it passed through the city council, putting Chicago on the map as being against a preemptive invasion of the nation of Iraq. At the time, uh, Chicago was the first large city to do so, and I think it was because of our leadership here in Chicago that convinced other large cities across the nation, and small and medium cities as well, to also uh, join the Cities for Peace movement and speak out against uh, Bush's invasion of Iraq. Tragically, uh, we were ignored by the White House, and the consequences of that ill-advised uh, military adventure live with us to this day. Uh, but again, we were on the right side of history and I'm glad to have been a part of it.